you were about to meet some friends of mine. <laughs> They've ended up living in your modern day times after escaping a witch hunt back in the dark ages of the 19th century where they could have ended up on the ducking stool or being burnt at the stake. You may find their behaviour unorthodox or even unacceptable, but after all, they are witches. And they're trying to cope with modern day society and all of its issues. <laughs> Not an easy task, even for those who belong in the 21st century, I'd say. <laughs> Watch with me and listen. You may learn something from them. <laughs> I wish I was dead. You've had us locked up in this cage for 125 years. Oh, I'll wait, man. How am I supposed to sleep with all of this racket going on? Have you checked to see if you're dead? Because I had a goldfish once and it was dead, but it didn't know. So it just kept swimming in the tank. The fish was floating. It knew it was dead. It was you who didn't. You fed it for a week. I, I, I thought it was attending. Oh, just go away. Are you in a bad mood or something? Spelma, what have you done to Louise? It, it wasn't me. Have you put a spell on Louise? No. Oh, the engine's running, but the brain's not in gear. What's wrong with Louise? I, I don't know. Come on, Louise, you're going to be late. I, I said that a while before. Come on, Louise, it's time you're up and ready. Not today, thank you. I think I'm just going to stay in here. But you'll be late for school. I'm not going back. Not going back? What are you talking about? She's never going back. And now for one, don't blame her. I'm never, ever, ever going back again. Louise, you miss a bus if you don't hurry. I said I'm never, ever, ever going back again. Oh, what's wrong with her? I don't know. Was she OK at school yesterday? I think so. And what about the day before? As far as I know. I am here, you know. And I can hear what you two are saying. I've got ears. She has just got two as well. And you got spots. Of course she's got spots. She's a teenager. I have not got spots, do you mind? Well, if you haven't got spots, and you're not feeling poorly, why don't you want to go to school? I'm being bullied. Oh, someone trying to turn you into a bull. That's not fair. It certainly is not. No, it's not, cos when I wanted to go to school as a piggy, you said no. And even when I said I could just have the funny face and the square nose, you still said no. And I said I could just have a curly tail. You still said no. But then I give myself a curly tail. But then I screwed myself into the seat and I couldn't go out to play. Oh, 
Louise is not being turned into a pig or a bull. She's being bullied. Yeah. Someone at school is making Louise very unhappy. Someone at school is making me unhappy? Who? My teacher. Keeps giving us homework. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to stay here forever. No, no. You've done the right thing by telling us. But why me? Yeah, why her? It's because you're pretty and clever. Bullies don't like that. Oh, hold on, you're saying I don't. Jeez, that means I'm not pretty or clever. I wasn't casting aspersions. <sighs> casting in the fishing line, knitting, casting on, casting off. Oh, I can't find casting aspersions. Casting aspersions. Eh? A slanderous remark. Attacking someone's reputation. Eh? Oh, just forget it. What I mean is, bullies don't like people who are different. Well, in that case, I wish I was more like Spelma. Whoa, hold on, wait a minute. Yes, that's okay, I think. Did you tell your teacher? No. I didn't want to tell anyone. You know, you shouldn't keep things to yourself. There's always someone you can talk to. A teacher, a friend, a member of the family. A uh, dog. And just how's that going to help? Yeah, it has to be a dog. Because then you can whisper and it's young and tell about the bully on the bum. Spellman, this is serious. It has to be handled properly. Now, oh, where was I? See, you made us lose me momentum now. I'll help you find it. No, it's not in there. I think the blanket's going to win this one. Oh, are you there? Are you feeling better? How long has this been going on? A couple of weeks. When the bad dream started? I guess so. How did you know? Well, I noticed you started leaving the light on at night. But I wasn't sure why. I suppose there's been one or two signs, but without you saying anything, it's hard to tell what the problem was. Did, did you not tell because you didn't want the bully to get wrong? Louise didn't want to protect the bully. She just didn't know what to do without making it worse for herself. Isn't that right, Louise? Yeah. The trouble is, the more he got away with it, the worse he got. He makes us feel really sad all the time. Oh, I, I don't like it when you're sad. I think I will go to school. I could put a spell on him and then he'd be sorry. I could give him frog's legs and I could tell him to hop off. No, oh, that's not the way to handle it. I don't want you to do anything. You might only make things worse. I'm just trying to help. Because you can't stay off school forever because you've got to go to school because it makes you cleverer. Well, it's not working for you, is it? We used to. Stop it. We'll have to do something about this. But what? I'm thinking. I, I thought I could smell smoke. What's his name? Jason. But he's your best friend. We fell out. You fell out of what? We fell out with each other. So, how, how, how does Jason bully you? Well, it started with us just not speaking. But then he got all my friends to be his friends. And now they won't speak to us either. And every time I go past them, they call us horrible names. Oh, like what? Just nasty things. And then I feel alone and sad. But sometimes I get angry and that just makes us worse. And now I've got no friends to talk to. But Louise has taken the first step to putting things right. Bullies don't work alone. They're cowards, really. They need to get a group on their side and they need to feel that they're impressing the group. This gives them the feeling of power, but by telling us about it, she knows she's not alone. Is he a big boy? Yeah. You are on your own then? Ah, oh, thanks a lot. No. The first thing we're going to do is make sure Jason knows he can't get away with it. Ah, oh, we're moving to another country. No. We'll just be running away then. Plus, Jason will only find someone else to pick on. What do you suggest? We're going to start by telling them at your school. The sooner they know what's going on, the better. The school will know how to handle it. His bullying days are numbered. So what number is it today then? 
the school won't put up with this sort of behaviour, you might get expelled. Is that something I used to be a spell? You know how you said you have to go to school and be cleverer? Yeah. Are you sure you've been going to school? Oh, uh, that's not nice. That's not nice at all, is it, Elvira? Someone's at the door. You don't say. I just did. That was me. I said someone's at the door. Didn't you see me lips move? I'll get it. No, don't get it. It might be Jason come to get with. Oh, it's got to be a spell here yeah, somewhere. Another spell? You can't even spell your own name and you're called Spellman. Animals. Bullies, bulls. Ah, I've got one. Time to teach him a lesson. The spell's not going to fail. I'll turn him into an animal. Look out for Piggy Tail. I don't think Jason's going to come here and offer to walk me to school. He can't be too careful, though. <coughs> Spellman, what have you done this time? <coughs> oh, Peter, how nice it is to see you. Have you come to get the bus for Spellman? Yeah, is he ready? <coughs> Was that ever early? Well, he was here a minute ago. Is it a bully? If that's a bully, mind. I'm just a little fella in his cage. Mind his own business, OK? Well, ma. Is that you under there? Is that you under there? No, it's not me. Sounds like you. No, it's just someone who does sound like me. It is you? How did I get in here? Are you ready to go to school? Yeah, I'm ready. You can help me. You can carry my books. But are you heavy? Don't be such a wimp. Uh, now who's been a bully to his friends? Uh, he won't be needing that, will he? It's not vegan. Really? Maybe not. <laughs> Come on, Louise. Let's get you dressed so we can sort your teacher and get this sorted today. Ow! That wasn't big or clever. That was behaving like a bully. What? I didn't realise it was bullying. I thought bullies were big. I'm just a little fella in a cage. Well, now, you've met my friends, what do you think? I'm sure they've given you plenty of things to talk about. <laughs>